and I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I, I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. Thanks, Saga. Hmm. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea, going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny.
The page placed me in a trailer, somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground. So, well, us fishing types appreciate you all. The flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Hey, where is the time gone? There's just a riches. Watery's definitely quaint. Good day. I bet they have good fish here. Mayor Seta will stand up for justice. A vote for Mayor Seta is a vote for everyone. For Watery! Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, uh, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. You know, Koskela owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Okay then, catch you too.
Such a shame. Excuse me. Do you know oh God, where I oh, he's in the middle of a show? I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. Trailer Park. Ilmo Coskella. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Hey, Sarah. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on me now. Hey, Saga, over here. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories?
Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So, your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. Profiling may move the case forward. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Trailer Park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Wakes says the story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Doesn't make sense. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. 
I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded, but if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. The Cosquelas think I lived in the trailer park. With Logan. The story really is changing people's memories. Why aren't mine affected? The spare key is a coffee world. First the witches at the diner. Now the Cascellas. They all think Logan and I used to live here. Wake said the horror story would make people crazy. Like they're being brainwashed to believe the story. Is it spreading? Flooding did this? There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. What was that? turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? Another locked box.
What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. That was coming fast. There's another cult stash. <laughs> 